forecast. We're looking at an excellent week of weather. You know, usually in mid to late August, we see a second wave of heat. We typically get our first the beginning of the summer, and uh, that was the case certainly this time around. But where's that heat this time? Well, it'll arrive. Don't worry. Uh, we're going to be seeing these cool days, but not forever. Uh, that uh, will actually start to shift a little bit by the end of the week, up to about 80 degrees, still cooler than normal, but pretty comfortable for this time of year. It's late in the weekend, and especially early next week, this time next week, that we'll be at about 90 degrees once again, but only for the, about the second time in the past couple of months. It has not really been a super hot summer. It's been muggy, but not all that hot. 48 hour rainfall total shows that the scattered shower prediction over the weekend well, it came literally true. It was very scattered. Some saw, oh, anywhere between half an inch to an inch of rainfall. Others, very little at all. Looking at you, North Manchester or Wabash, saw maybe a few sprinkles at best. Huntington, hardly enough rain to call it a rainy weekend. Meanwhile, in much of Allen County, Adams, even uh, portions of Defiance and DeKalb counties, yeah, pretty wet uh, over the weekend. Not a lot of heavy rain necessarily, but enough to at least green things up a little bit. But everyone is, uh, well, certainly lacking what uh, should be one of our wettest times of year has turned into a very dry time of year. Uh, the spring, uh, spring was much wetter than what we've been experiencing the past couple of months. And then pockets of very heavy rain into the northeast where some dangerous life-threatening flooding has been occurring. So, you know, locally, very quiet weather pattern, and it will continue, as I mentioned, for at least the next week. I don't see any rain in the forecast for the next seven days. And some forecast models are actually extending that dry period maybe the next 10 days. And it could be a while before our next big storm. And I would think that if we're going to see something significant rainfall wise, it'd have to come from the Gulf. We typically, just like with Hurricane Barrel, get some of the remnants from Gulf systems. So we'll see. But partly to mostly clear skies expected overnight tonight. Temperatures cooling into the low 50s. So kind of chilly by tomorrow morning. By the afternoon, we should only make it into the low 70s, well below average, about 10 to 15 degrees below normal during the day. And at night, with these overnight lows in the mid to upper 40s, some of these low 40s I'm seeing it appears a little too cool. I think a little aggressive as far as forecast models are concerned. But definitely 45 to 47 seems pretty reasonable. By a Wednesday afternoon, temperatures will be in the low 70s. And then by Thursday morning, back into the upper 40s. But then by Thursday afternoon, we should see highs in the mid to upper 70s. You'll begin to notice by Thursday just a slight uptick in the humidity. It won't be significant. It's not going to be overwhelming. But you'll notice a bit of a difference. And then especially by Friday, Saturday and Sunday, highs will be solidly in the 80s, likely mid 80s Saturday, upper 80s on Sunday. And then we will see temperatures likely at or around 90 degrees by Monday afternoon. And it will be muggy. You're going to also feel that too. Uh, dew points back in the upper 60s, right around 70 degrees. I know not the most comfortable or ideal, but kind of, everyone's kind of getting what they want. Drier, cooler weather for uh, the first part of this week, turning a little hotter, a little muggier by the end of the week and into the weekend. So we're going to be kind of experiencing two seasons in one week. That's kind of what we tend to do best around here. So that's the future temperature outlook again through early next week. But the seven day forecast again looks pretty much the same as far as sky conditions are concerned. Mostly sunny skies tomorrow, 72 overnight lows in the upper 40s the next couple of nights with lots of sunshine here through at least Friday. Temperatures slowly warming into the low 80s, the coolest days of the week early next or early this week. The warmest days, though, are yet to come. Saturday into Sunday, we'll see mostly sunny skies, especially Saturday, 86 degrees. Temperatures in the upper 50s to mid 60s, 88 on Sunday. Heat index might make it feel a degree or two warmer Sunday. Won't be too overwhelming. By Monday, though, we're expecting a high of 90, and it will be muggy. Heat index could make it into the mid 90s. Overnight lows will return to around 70 degrees. So hopefully, if you're a fan of cooler weather, you weren't led to believe this was going to last forever. <laughs> it never does. No. And yeah. the, the hot weather actually.